Good morning, people. Everywhere. World. Anyway, uh, decided yesterday, last night, I was going to install my derail, derail performance, whatever this thing is, trans cooler. Anyway, uh, yeah, they give you 10 feet of hose, 10 feet of half inch hose, but when you have a truck that long, 10 feet of hose goes about one way. <laughs> anyway, let me get under here. Ooh. Sorry guys, my back is tight. My Everything's tight. So, we got this here. I got the one line ran. So that's the thermostat. You gotta put uh, some thread sealer on there. So that's what I did, put thread sealer on there. You can't use Teflon tape or dielectric grease. I don't know why you would use that. It won't seal anything, but that's what the instructions say. Um, but yeah, they say that it'll block the signal or whatever reduce the thing but anyway it's pretty solid just use these aluminum scrap bars that I got it's just some U channel that I've had forever so and then I got a, the lines here the wiring here this hose there goes all the way up all the way up all the way to here um, yeah, so, I have this, this hose is going to go, I cut it a little bit longer than I probably need, because I am going to run it up here, basically, and run it down to here, so it's out of the way from the drive shaft. So, uh, I believe this is your high pressure line and this is your fill line so hot line cold line so I'm gonna put basically I'm gonna cut this line probably somewhere right here where there's enough space in here so I'm gonna cut this line in here put on the little adapter put on the adapter I'll run this hose to this side then the other hose oh, Bang the butt on there. The other hose I'll run from here and oops, I stepped on my phone. And I'll probably run it somewhere. Probably go up and over the tranny and go to the other side and then tie it in this way. This way there's no a lot less kinks and bends in it. So I wasn't gonna do this. I was gonna wait to do this for like a week or two and uh, it was just in my way so anyway let me get the lines all ran and I'll probably have to use about a quart of tranny fluid I'm assuming that this whole thing takes a quart at least maybe a quart and a half so maybe I'll have to use two quarts so and I am going to retain the factory trans cooler which is in the front of the truck. Oh man, I shouldn't be doing this, I should be resting. But anyway, this upper piece in here that's on top of the condenser, that's the other tranny cooler. So anyway, you guys think about the white bumper, white grill, white everything. I like it. Anyway, let me throw that all on there, get this done. I had to go to Napa and get some hose, some gates, 8 GTH, um, 2.8 something, I don't know, 400 PSI basically was what I was looking for because the hose I put in, it's just a, uh, I think it's rated to 300 PSI, so whatever. Anyway, let me get to that and then uh, show you what it's all done. 
Right guys, I'm a little exhausted, but I have a uh, magnet Ooh. under here. As you can see, I don't have much metal. There's, it's a real high powered magnet. This is here. <clears throat> I don't have any shavings in the in the uh, fluid that came out, so I'm just gonna go dump this. And then uh, probably tomorrow I won't do nothing because I have just a big old mess. <clears throat> so um, these are extra fittings. Uh, extra fittings that you get to keep if you want. I didn't actually need to use this here. This is more like for a cooling fan. So... Yeah, I ended up just wiring it to the truck, to an accessory, accessory. So the wires connected to the fuse box, goes down, drops down. I'll just show you under here what I did. Oh man. So, I got the derail performance. So I already ran the truck, I already started it, make sure nothing was leaking, I already added fluid, added about a quart and a quarter, and then I got the rest of the quart inside the truck, just in case, because I didn't let it warm up. So, anyway, got the thermostat connected, so this lighter blue wire goes all the way up to the fuse. The darker wire goes to the fan and the ground grounds off to here which I did check. I have a good ground here. So pretty sturdy um, with these aluminum brackets. So I have the lines going. They're all zip tied. Oh, got a piece of metal in my back now. So, what I did is zip tied here, zip tied, um, heck, someone's attacking me, oh, <laughs> the pine needle, anyway, uh, I have the hose coming up, it's coming up here, running up and running down, so this way it's not, it's not on the, near the drive shaft, I guess you could say, and then this one runs up and over the tranny, it's hard to see, but goes up and over the tranny. And the reason I did that is because I cut the line here. So this is the line, this is the line. I cut it straight across, you know, with the uh, pipe cutter, the little wheel thing that you rock back and forth. I let it all leak into a pan I had down here. So these are all connected. So this is hot side coming out oh boy oh boy so this is your hot that's your cool so this is where it fills the tranny this top one then this bottom one is where the hot comes out comes out comes out goes back to the cooler that's back there and comes back out um, comes back in and then goes in to the cooler, the air cooler, the one up in the front. So it's going to get cooled twice, basically. And then it goes into the, to the one in the front on top of the condenser and then comes back and then should be a lot cooler, goes into the top. So... Yeah, that's that's how I did it. I had to do the hot side. Hot going into the cooler, cooler going up to the front. So this way, because the tranny cooler up front, that the clutch fan will turn on at 210. This will turn on at 180. Back there, where we were at. So that'll turn at 180. So that'll cool it 180. At least it's 180 degrees either way coming in. 
Um, but yeah, so and then I, you know, just got it as far away from the exhaust as I could, which is up in there. So anyway, like I said, oh, she's, let me get out of here. Oh, like I said, I did start it. I ran it, ran it through the gears, checked the fluid. It was about a quart low, and then, uh, yeah, quart low. So I added a quart, and then uh, I just added an extra half a quart, maybe a quarter of a quart, just because uh, this whole system takes one quart. I believe it's a one quart capacity um, for the whole thing. And then the lines, probably a quarter quart. And then what I have in this pan is about another quarter of a quart. So, anyway, I'm going to go wash up. i got to get something to eat. So, anyway, guys, that's the truck. That's the beast. I'll park it somewhere. Maybe I'll go somewhere tomorrow. Oh, I do have to go somewhere tomorrow. Um, maybe I'll drive it tomorrow. And uh, take a couple pictures somewhere. Um, usually I'll post it on Instagram and stuff. So maybe I'll do a little walk around video or something. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you guys comment below. Subscribe. You can click over here. This subscribe over here. Check out my boy One and Glenn over here. And watch my previous video over here. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Later.